Yo, what is up, everybody, and welcome back to the Forever World. This is our Forever Minecraft World, where we do a little bit of cutting and actually a little bit of building. Um, today, I'm focusing on just getting resources and making this video a lot longer than I initially expected. Um, I want to talk about YouTube and creation and stuff like that in a little while. But um, we are down here with our Fortune 3 pickaxe. I was doing some diamond mining the last time I was on the world. It is a couple of days later, so I'm not exactly sure if we have diamonds back at the base now or not. I don't know. Something something has happened. I don't know if I'm mixing up my worlds because I did start playing on another server a while back and everything seems so incredibly not right. Like brightness. There we go. I think that's better. I don't know. But um, yes, I remember having like almost like 16 diamonds the last time I played on the world. But now I have no idea. Now I just have iron. Which is not bad. I'm not complaining. I just... I don't know where that went. So, um... That's cool. So I'm just gonna get a little more resources and head up back to the surface. Because I'm pretty sure I do have diamonds. But at the same time, I probably don't. Because why would I be down here with no diamonds with my Fortune 3 pickaxe when I brought it back up? I have no... I genuinely... I have no idea. We're gonna head back to the surface and see what happens. Also, we're playing with shaders now. Shaders look so much better. Yeah. So do ores. Ores look really, really cool. Okay. Okay. We are out and we are a couple hundred blocks away from our base, which is marked by cats. And dude, Minecraft just looks so much better when it is uh, in, in shaders. So hopefully it's not too annoying for you guys to watch it on this. Hopefully. Oh, nice. But yeah, let's make it back to the base. Is that our skeleton? Okay. Um, Bones is out. That's cool. Um, we're just about to the base. Um, and hopefully we do have the diamonds here. If not, I'm going to go back in the cave. And I guess we'll talk about YouTube and everything. Um, from the standpoint of somebody who likes doing YouTube, but is not, not really good at it. So, yeah. Okay. Hello, cats. Hello, villagers. Hello, iron golems. Do we have diamonds? Yes, we do have diamonds. Yes. Okay. Well, I still want to go and get more diamonds. I Okay. I remember now what was happening. Okay. So, I was doing some enchanting the other day. I got this efficiency book. I got some unbreaking. I got some mending. And I was so excited to put this on my pickaxe. Turns out, um, I, I messed up. Um, for some reason, Minecraft has a little interesting thing called too expensive. Which basically means you've added too many books together to make a, a big book. And it's not like Efficiency 4 and I'm breaking 3 and Mending would be too much. It's that I took Efficiency 2 books and combined them to Efficiency 3. Then took another Efficiency 2 book and another Efficiency 2 book, made Efficiency 3. Then made Efficiency 4. So I'm combined like almost 7 books into 1. And it's, it's just way too expensive. So I did add a mod into the game that I don't think's working because it still says too expensive where um it would remove that you know game mechanic of two oh it was efficiency one okay yeah even worse so it was like way more uh books than i initially expected so i'd like to get that mod working because i would like to use this because that is a pretty good one so um let's see if i can get that working well that didn't work um it, it's, it's still too expensive i'm not sure i think i will just put this book back here and we're going to go back into the mines because, um, you know. Yeah. Okay. Well, that does suck. But um, let's head back into the mines. And let's actually start talking about YouTube. So I've been wanting to do YouTube or like as a full job for many, many years. I mean, even before I started making content and then before, definitely before I started making good content. Um, I started back in 2016, 2018. Okay. I was a couple years off. But yeah. 2018, which is, uh. Now, six years ago, I was 12 or 13, which is kind of crazy to think about because most of you guys are probably that age now. Um, and all I wanted to do was make content. And I made content, and it was pretty trash. But, you know, I, I got better. I think I've gotten much better at content. Um, the problem is I've not gotten better at YouTube, right? There's a difference between content and YouTube. I think I can make interesting videos. It's just kind of hard to get people to watch them, you know? Like, uh, there's this one Suicide Boys song, 
uh, of these these rappers from Louisiana that are now massive. Um, they made really good music, like in 2016, um, and they had a problem with people not listening to them because they didn't perfect their flow. Even though in songs that they had, like it was the greatest song they've ever made, and it's like songs that they still like perform and people enjoy listening to every single day, even though it's really old. So it's like they had their flow. They had the songs that need to be made. It's just they didn't consistently make those and people just didn't know of them yet. Um, and for a long time, I thought that was me. I thought that, you know, I had everything right. I was doing everything that I needed to do. And I just didn't have the uh, consistency and I didn't have the fan base that I needed. And I would say that's partially true, but also not at the same time. Um, I definitely am not consistent at all. And I know that's definitely a big factor within YouTube. But then another thing is just if you're actually good at making content. And I think I am. But also I've noticed that my retention is quite low. Like um, the chances of you seeing or hearing what I'm saying right now is next to none. I think my retention is like 7% past 30, 45 seconds. Um, so like me going this far on in a video is almost like a waste of time. And that's what I initially was expecting. So the first couple of videos that I posted on this channel, or at least in this series, was me making content that was like three minutes to five minutes long, hoping to, you know, capitalize on people's attention spans or just, you know, just to make them shorter so I can really see people attention. Like, is it actually, you know, people not watching 40, you know, for 45 seconds or is it me or something like that? And um, it truly is my content. I mean, just again like seven eight percent of people are watching past 45 seconds which is a little bit annoying um but it's not like it's y'all fault i mean it is mine ultimately okay here's the cave um it, it is it is ultimately my fault but the thing i've noticed is a lot of the people that do watch my videos are a lot younger like way way younger so if you are watching this video past you know the 45 second mark you're probably older than the age of 13 or not i don't know um but i've noticed that most kids do not watch videos like these and i think that what my that's what my audience was for a very very long time just really targeted towards kids so trying to get out of that has still been a challenge that i've noticed um and people joining my discord you know even in the last seven days have all been kids like people that are quite young just by you know, how they're messaging um and it's just like that's not the main audience i want because i know that the retention and the content they want and do watch on the regular is nothing close to the content that i do make now or even close to the content i've ever made um so it's a little annoying but again it's not your fault you know and hopefully you are watching this video and you are interested in you know like okay this guy's pretty cool i'm gonna keep watching for the next five minutes unless something really stupid happens so i'm trying to keep you entertained i just i don't know if it's really genuinely me not being entertaining or just the the kids that watch my content it's just not for them i don't know i don't want it to be me but if it is me then i'll just i'll just cry i don't know but i've really been enjoying playing minecraft again especially in this format where i'm not having to do some crazy editing and feel that i'm you know trying to capture every three seconds of your attention because that's not the content that i even want to watch or make like the content that i watch is people doing basically what i'm doing but just a lot better um they're a lot more interesting when they speak um and they have much better builds and much better stories so um that's basically enough about youtube and i want to talk about a story because that's kind of what i want these videos to turn into where i'm playing minecraft but i'm telling a story and um, simple things like that. So let's tell a story. So me and my friends um, this past weekend went to Galveston. Galveston is like a beach, but it's like a nasty beach. So like the sand is the same color as the water. The sand might actually be a prettier color than the water. The, 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 the water is disgusting. Um, it, it's like you think it's not that bad and then you show up and it's like, okay, this is so much worse than I do remember. Um, so like getting in the water, like, you know, you'll feel the sand on your feet, but it feels like the sand is like attacking you at the same time. It's just like very discomforting when you're in the Galveston beaches and it just doesn't look pretty. You know, the water is not clear. I mean, if you would see that water, 
being, you know, put into your bathtub, you would probably shit yourself. Um, sorry. <laughs> sorry, kids. Um, but you would probably not like the way the water looks. So, you know, you wouldn't get into it. And the thing is, you can't, like, you put your foot in it and you can't see your toes. You know, like, that's, that's not a very good thing that you can't see your toes in water that's not even a full foot deep. You know, it's just, that's not good. So, um, you know, staying out of the water is not the best. I mean, not the worst thing ever. Um, also, there was some, like, brain-eating bacteria in the water, which I was like, you're lying. And then, like, this nurse surgeon patient, not patient, but this nurse surgeon person was like, no, that's actually for real. And I was like, oh, that's cool. So, I wasn't sure what to really expect. Um, but we went into the water up to my ankle. And I was like, nah, I'm good. And it's not like I was scared. It's just like... There's no reason to go in the water because you just feel dirty. You know, you feel like, like, number one, it's also really hot outside. So the water wasn't even any little bit of, you know, cool. Like, you know, you get into, you, you, you get into water and you're like, man, I feel so much better. This like, you feel dirty. You don't feel any better because it's, it's like warm water. And it's not like a good warm water where it's like, ah, this is refreshing. It's like, ah, this is uncomfortable. So it's, you know, it's just a bad mix of everything. So we went to Galveston and that's kind of the best way to explain the beaches um, with the additional of trash everywhere. And the funniest thing is me and my buddies went to like the nicest part of Galveston um, because, you know, everybody can drive into Galveston, but the where, the where we went is like the farthest part you have to drive to or you can hop on a ferry. And that's what we did. So we hopped on a ferry to uh, the beach house that we had and like it was like a 30 minute ferry ride which was really cool we got to see dolphins and everything uh, so we drove up the cars onto the uh ferry we got out the cars we saw dolphins and sharks and a shipwrecked and uh we actually saw a um like a old um, like boat a, a old world war ii boat navy boat why can't i think of the word battleship jesus christ i'm sorry uh we saw a big battleship and i was like dude that's so cool so there's a big battleship and a big sub next to each other um and that was pretty cool to see plus the dolphins and i think i saw a shark or two but i don't know they weren't like jumping up and down like the dolphins so i can't really say it was a dolphin or a shark we'll just hope it's a shark but um yeah you wouldn't want to go into that water either for multiple reasons but um i feel like the dolphins in the galveston water would attack you too i mean i know they do other things that dolphins do and if you don't know what dolphins do probably should search up what dolphins do it's pretty uh pretty interesting when somebody told me like hey you know what dolphins do i'm like no and they're like they do this i'm like you're lying and they're like no they actually they actually do that and i was like that's like really disgusting and cool but mostly disgusting at the same time it's not cool it's just interesting Sorry, I use I don't have a good vocabulary. It's not cool. Just interesting. Moving on. But yeah, so um we went to Galveston, we got on the ferry. Uh the first day we just chilled at the house, we played some pool. I obviously won every single game. <laughs> Didn't lose one at all. Um no, I lost a, a good fair amount. Um it's just like when I play pool, it's like somehow the cue ball will hit the black ball and the black ball will go in and I'm like, "Oh my goodness, I'm so good." And then the white ball will follow it like right in or hit another hole like across the table and it's like you didn't you didn't have you didn't have to do that you know you like there was no reason to do that nothing at all so that's that's always fun so that was fun um so we played a bunch of pool there we actually dude even though me and my friends are like all in our 20s like i'm 19 and my buddies are one of my other buddies is 19 and other people are like 21 to 23 i think um we still like played hide and seek which i haven't played since i was like 14 and it was really fun but also it's so much more boring than i remember it's a lot more being quiet and not speaking and just hiding in the darkness and it's like when i was younger i'm gonna die okay wait um <laughs> when i was younger i remember it being so much more fun and it's like not boring um when i was maybe i just hit in a good spot i don't know but it was just so much more like man i'm actually like just not talking to anybody or like i'm just i'm like hiding from my friends which is the opposite of what i want to be doing right now i don't know but um it was fun for the moment i was like let's play like two rounds but it was so much more fun hiding with other people because then you can like laugh and giggle and be like ha, you can't see us and then he's like i see you and you're like oh 
but yeah we also played fully in the dark which was like even more cool it was like really late on it was really late outside um and we played with it like you know blinds closed and everything so you couldn't even see like the moonlight which was really cool um but yeah we did that and also i cooked dinner each night the first night i cooked something called chuck ribs uh if you don't know chuck is um a, ch a chuck roast is a part of the cow that is a lot more tough than everything um so there are ways to cook it down and make it tender so it's like not chewy um but i, I didn't i didn't know how to so i cooked something called chuck ribs which is basically the chuck roast just cut into smaller pieces and um it was fully frozen so i had to defrost it and then i put it in the oven for a couple hours and i think the temperature was a little too high so it was a mixture of just bad cooking and just a bad selection of meat um just you know didn't really work out too well but it's fine um it was edible um so i made that the first night i was really mad at myself because it didn't come out good um so after everybody fixed their plate i like silently but like not silently threw it in the trash um nobody noticed and i was like okay i'm in the clear and then it's like three o'clock in the morning and my buddy ryan's like yo i'm like mad hungry i was like damn that's crazy he said where's the leftovers and i said damn that's crazy he said why is that crazy i said i kind of threw them johns away and he's like you for real i said yeah he said why would you do that i said they were bad he said no they weren't he lied he lied he you know he lied to me. It's okay. I, I rather, I actually don't rather my friends lie to me. I, I, rather, I rather my friends be brutally honest with me and tell me it was horrible. Um, but it's regardless. Okay. I threw them away and yeah, me and my buddies were really hungry, right? So we went to, uh, we actually looked online. We're looking at bars, right? Because bars are open pretty late at night. And again, the area that we were staying in was like a ferry away from any like restaurant, right? Like it was like a 30 minute like ferry drive away. Or you wanted to go around. And it was like a whole hour to any restaurant. And we didn't want to do that, right? So we're like, okay, let's see if there's any bars open. And they said there was three bars. And granted, we weren't going to go drink. We just wanted to get food, right? So they said there's three bars open, right? On the Google, on, on the Google, it says it's open. On their website, didn't load. And then one of the websites said it does. it's not open. So we called and no answer. And I was like, okay, well, it's only like four minutes away from the house. Might as well drive, right? So me and Ryan hopped in the car and we drove and like it the sign says open we're like okay this is cool there's no cars in the parking lot we're like okay let's circle around back see if there's you know any of the people that are working there's cars there like people cars in the back no cars there either and we're like unless these people walked to 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 the, the bar there's nobody here and you know we didn't get out but we like there's nobody here so now we're like just okay this sucks there's there's no bars open what do we do and the big grocery store also granted closed at like nine o'clock and it's like two in the morning right so there, there's nothing to eat right so we're mad we're like okay what do we do we find a gas station right and for some reason gas stations in you know near beaches sell literally everything so it was a good thing and a bad thing because they can price gouge you right um, so we walked in there, we're looking at chips, of course, nothing in the gas station has price tags on it. Cause why would they? Um, so we're walking around, we're looking at things like, okay, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. And, um, we finally get to, oh no, we finally get to an area where they like have syrup and everything and like, uh, like condiments and everything. Cause it, you know, they sell everything at this gas station for some reason. And I was looking and the Nutella. Right, a big thing of Nutella is nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. If you don't know, that is ridiculous. And I was like, Ryan, we're about to spend a fortune here. And he's like, Bro, I know, but I'm hungry. And I'm like, Bro, me too. Right. So we um we're like, okay, whatever we buy, we know it's gonna be mad expensive, right? So we ended up finding a frozen pizza in one of the frozen, you know, areas. Never expected to buy pizza or even frozen pizza at a gas station but you know we did and it actually wasn't that bad because you know it was like just something they bought from a real store and just put in there that was all trash oh my gosh um but you know it wasn't bad it was like the only the only bad part of it, it was like 12.99 for a frozen pizza most frozen pizzas are like seven eight bucks max so we were paying like the premium price for like a pretty poo poo pizza but it was good but not like 13 dollars good like every single bite i took i was like that's like 78 cents but it was fine i was full it was cool 
um, the next night, right? The next night we um, we went to the beach because one of the girls had to finish up some schooling because uh, they just started school again, so we couldn't go to the water park, right? So we went uh, to the beach after she finished her class and everything. Still smacking my friends around in a pool. Again, definitely not losing at all. Um, so we are you know, playing some pool, and then we ended up going to the beach and everything. Me and my buddies are playing football. And we actually tried to take out, oh my goodness, we tried to take out one of the buggies, like the, like the golf carts at the house. The golf cart would go like, slower than walking speed which is kind of ridiculous and then like after like four minutes of it like doing that and my buddy's like this is not worth it it started picking up speed but like a ridiculous speed where it's like almost a little too fast but the thing is the second you took off the pedal you went back to like walking speed or like below walking speed so there's like it's like really fast and unpredictable or really slow and it's like it would actually be faster to walk to the beach so we didn't know what to do um, after it stalled like three times and just kind of broke down we're like well that sucks We ended up turning it around started pushing it and when pushing it it would go really fast like I said And then it would just stop so like we like, if we're like jogging behind it It would just like almost slam on his brakes like I got brake checked by my friend But it's like he was putting his full foot down on the gas like there was nothing about him was like he's braking so it was kind of ridiculous but after pushing it back to the house which wasn't too far but you know you're pushing a dude and two girls in a golf cart when it's like 97 degrees plus like a wind chill of 10 degrees um it was you know it was pretty painful but after we put the golf cart back we hopped in the okay we hopped in the tacoma and we drove on to the beach so after getting to the beach again <gasps> Oh my gosh <laughs> after getting to the beach like i said me and my buddies played some uh, football and everything took some pictures and uh we had a good time um we played some like we just played like two and touch uh, football not tackle because one of my buddies is like the three times the size of me and he's not like fat he's just straight muscle and it's kind of scary like you know it's like it's like it's like it's just not fair right so we just wanted to play two hand touch but he's like, you know, guys, we could play tackle. And I was like, no, we're good. So um, after playing that, we head back to the house. And I cooked uh, some uh, pork butt, right? I got like an eight-pound pork butt for like 97 cents a pound, which is ridiculous. Um, it was like 10 bucks for 10 pounds, which is like, it's, again, ridiculous. Like, that's not normal. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. What the heck? I've got apple. Okay. I hate spiders. Why does it? I, I would much rather be a creeper spawner than a spider spawner. Like, for real. Actually, skeleton would be the worst. Okay, let's do this. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I would like to get that music disc. The yellow one. What is it? Is the yellow one good? I don't know. I always forget what the music disc colors are. Dude, that's so cool. I got a god apple. Um... But yeah, I cooked uh, some pork butt, just slapped it around with some Slappy Mama, which was amazing. Um, okay, guys, I do not want to die. I also forgot to get the music desk. It's fine. Okay, but yeah, I slapped some Slappy Mama on it. Um, get it, Slappy Mama. Um, and dude, it was amazing. It, the, the oven was like so incredibly hot, like hotter than it said. Like it was set to like 425. It definitely was like 600 degrees in there. Um, because within the first 30 minutes, the entire, like, pork butt was just straight brown. Like, brown and black. So, it was, like, crusting over. But, like, that's not a bad thing. It's just, I wasn't expecting it. And, dude, I'm telling you, it was one of the best foods I've ever made in my entire life. Um, so that was amazing. And then the next night, um, the next day, sorry. Me and my buddies wanted to go to Schlitterbahn. Schlitter, Schlitter, Schlitterbahn now. So, we had to hop back on the ferry, right? So, we're looking. It's, like... I don't know, 11 o'clock at this time. And we know it's going to be like an hour drive to Schlitterbahn, right? So we're like, okay, guys, what time should we leave? Knowing that the park's probably open at this point, right? So we look online, when is Schlitterbahn open? And, oh, dude, another spawner? What the heck? Okay, just regular. Oh, my. Stupid. Oh, cat. I'll take it. Infinity. I'll take it. Gunpowder. I'll take it. Okay, wait, okay, wait, okay, wait, okay, wait. Oh my, dude. 
Jesus Christ! Dude, no way! No way! Dude, no way! You gotta be freaking kidding me! That guy destroyed me! Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Dude, that sucks so much. I had so much good stuff on me. Okay, luckily we're not playing, uh... Luckily we're not playing the freaking stupid stupid. So I can get my stuff back. We just need to be a little quick. But yeah, okay. So, um, yeah. Me and my buddies are looking what time Schlitterbahn opens, right? And I look online and I'm like, guys? They're like, yes. I'm like, I don't think Schlitterbahn's open. And they're like, dude, <laughs> don't lie. And I was like, I'm not lying. Um, it ended up being Schlitterbahn is only open on the weekends because summer is basically over. So, we basically made this entire trip to go to Schlitterbahn, and Schlitterbahn was, was closed. So, that's that was awesome. So, um, yeah, we're like, okay, that sucks. What to do? I was like, you know, we could go to the pier, right? There's a pier um, not too far away. And they have, you know, a bunch of amusement park rides and everything. My buddy's like, no, let's go to this one, right? It was another one. It was called Kima Boardwalk, right? Um, I've never been to that one, which was good. I was very surprised. So we drive up there. It's like $29 a person. Come up to like $31 with tax, which was so much cheaper than what Schlitterbahn was going to be. Schlitterbahn was going to be like $80 a person, which is ridiculous. Um, so it's fine, right? So we hop up in there to Kima. We pay for the pass and everything. And there's basically like three rides that we rode. One was the big boat where it just goes, like starts here and it goes woof, 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 woof. And like basically you're like fully damn near like looking down in the thing. And it's like a, bi a big swing. It's like my stomach could not handle it, but it also did. But it was like, it was pretty bad, right? So we rode that like three times. Oh, a new wolf. So we rode that like three times uh, in the very beginning another one and my buddy ryan was like yo guys i think i'm done and we're like what do you mean you're done he's like i think i think it, i think that's i think i'm done no oh i'm definitely going to the wrong death mark because this is definitely not where i died and i didn't take a screenshot oh i think this is where i died to fall damage or an iron go oh my gosh I didn't, I didn't take a screenshot of where I died. Am I stupid? Oh my goodness, give me a second. Okay, we are back. We are like 500 blocks away, which is amazing. Um, hopefully my items are not despawning, right? But yeah, we got to Kima. We rode on the boat and my buddy Ryan was like, yo boys, I'm done. He kind of already told us that after like a ride or two, he was going to be done because he gets bad motion sickness. And I was like, we were joking with him because they're like, dude, don't be a B word. Don't be a P, you know, it's cool. You're fine. Um, like literally after the second ride he's like guys i'm done the third ride he's like guys i'm for real done right so we chill with him for a little while um low-key annoyed because like every single time i go to amusement parks with my family or over it's like really slow like we kind of walk around where i just want to run to every new ride and ride everything a 100 times and everything like that right so i was a little annoyed because we just paid 30 bucks and we're sitting down in the you know a starbucks you know lobby not doing anything right i was a little annoyed but i was like dude my buddy's obviously in pain you know, what am I going to do? Right. So, um, in my mind, I was like, I'm sorry he feels bad, but like, also I'm not going to waste 30 bucks and not, you know, get to enjoy my rides. Right. So, um, him and his girl just chilling in a Starbucks while me, Nick and his girl go on some rides. Right. Which makes sense. I mean, if it was me, I know I'd want my friends to go and chill and not, you know, be like not doing anything fun. Right. No disrespect, Ryan, no disrespect. Right. So, um, after a little while, I think I can actually get back down here in the water. Let me take one of these and see if I can get a little lower. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, maybe? Okay, maybe not, actually. But, yeah. So, um, I knew that I wouldn't want my friends to, you know, ha like, not be able to experience the, you know, thing they just paid for. Whatever, right? Um, so, um, yeah. Ryan is sick. He's in the lobby and everything. Uh, so we, me and Kyle and Nick go on another couple rides. Um, we go on this, this one wooden ride called like bullet bill or the bullet train or some crazy thing like that. The fastest wooden roller coaster I've ever been on my entire life. If you ever had the chance to go to Disney world and you've ridden the, um, the rock and roller coaster at Disney world. Sorry. I had to search it up. 
um, you know how fast that thing is. It was like 10 times faster than that. And it wasn't just like a 15 second ride. It was like 45 seconds. It was insane. It was the fastest roller coaster I've ever been on. Um, after getting off of it, I literally felt like I was a new man. I, I was like, dude, guys, this is the coolest thing I've ever done in my entire life. Please, let's do it 100 more times. And they're like, sure. Um, so we wrote it like two more times. Uh, all right, no, we wrote it one more time, and Nick, uh, Nick's girlfriend, Kyle, she was done. She's like, guys, I can't do it again. Um, you know, y'all can do, let's do another ride, right? So we're walking around. We do the boat again um, a couple more times, actually. Um, okay, we found our stuff. Yes, dude. So, yeah, we, um, is everything here? I see my diamonds. I see the god apple. I see my pickaxe. I see a zombie with a saddle. Give me that. Thank you. Okay, let's not die again. Um, there's a lot of iron here that I would like to pick up. But yeah, so we were riding some more rides and everything like that. Having a good time. Um, and after we rode the boat a couple more times, we wanted to go and check on Ryan. So we go check on Ryan, and he's still not doing good. It's like probably like 30, 45 minutes later, and he's still not in a good mindset headspace stomach is still hurting and everything um and i feel bad for the dude you know like he just paid 30 bucks and he rode three rides and he's done and it was the same ride over and over right so i felt bad but he did say he's like guys when i do feel better i will ride the big ride the big wooden ride once right and i'm just telling you after that i will never be able to ride any other ride like there's no getting better after that oh my goodness okay i don't have a shield on me I just didn't pick it up. That's not good. Like, I need... Oh, my goodness. If I die again... Okay. 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 We're fine. Um, but, yeah. Ryan was like, dude, if I ride it with y'all, like, I, and that's pretty much it. Like, I'm, I'm calling it quits after that. I was like, all right, bro. That's fair. That's fair. So we didn't want to force them to ride it or anything. We didn't want to force them to ride anything. It's just I didn't think it would be that bad, right? So he, his girl, and Kyle are sitting in the Starbucks. And me and Nick wanted to break the record of how many times anybody in the friend group and in, in their friend group rode the wooden train. Uh rode the wooden um roller coaster. Goodness gracious, I can't think. Um, so that the, I think the max they've everybody's ever done was five, right? And I was like, Nick, we gotta do it was four or five. And I was like, Nick, we gotta do six, bro. Dude, holy crap! How many spawners am I going to find? Dude, this is... Okay, I don't have a shield. That's not good. Like, I... That's not good, bro. Okay. Um. Smite, boo. Cat. We have a cat. We have multiple cats, actually another god apple okay dude i actually love the amount of saddles i'm getting because we only have like one at the base so let's put these in there okay we're done okay cool um but yes so ryan was like dude i'm gonna do one more and i was like nick we gotta break the record let's go for six right so me and nick hop on the ride two more times um so we've rode this the fastest again the fastest roller coaster i've ever rode in my entire life two more times right so i've rode this thing a total of four times dude after that i was done i was like dude oh my gosh if i would have died to lava right there i would have done horrible things okay but yes so me and nick wrote it two more times and i was like boys i, I i'm cooked now like ryan i feel you and he started making fun of me he said oh look i'm all good now and you're not i was like it's not funny now he's like oh really um, dude, I lost a bunch of levels too. That really sucks. That's the worst thing. This is a bunch of levels. I like 20 something. Crap. Well, regardless. Okay. So I wrote it two more times. I wrote it for four times now. And I was done. So we head back in the Starbucks and we're trying to see if Kyle wants to go on another ride with us. Cause I was like, guys, I can't do the fast one anymore. So like, let's go do the, um, let's go do the boat again. Right? So we do the boat like two more times. And I was, I was cooked at this point. I was, I was cooked. I was like, guys, I'm pushing my limits now. So we're sitting on the bench and everything. Cause they also were getting cooked there too. Kyle was for sure. So like, all right, let's take a break. Um, and we'll keep going. Right. So it was like five minutes, maybe 10 minutes sitting on this bench. 
I was like, all right, guys, let's let's get a move on, right? I, my stomach still hurts. My head definitely hurts. But I was like, you know, I, I paid 30 bucks. I'm trying to trying to get it going, right? So at this point, I'm ready to go. Kyle's not and Nick's not, right? And I was like, come on, guys. If we just, you know, walk there slowly, it's like a five-minute walk. We'll be fine, right? Kyle stands up and then falls down. And I was like, son of a, that's not good. Um, she didn't, like, get hurt or anything. She was just exaggerating. But, um... It's, it's fine. Um, so, yeah, I was like, okay, let's let's wait a little bit more. So, me and Nick uh, and Kyle are like, okay, guys, it's, it's time to go. It's like five more minutes. So, we start walking over, and everybody's being really sluggish. I was trying to be a man and be like, okay, guys, we're good. You know, we're fine. Um, it was pretty painful. My, my head was hurting. My stomach was hurting. I was like, if, if I could, you know, be laying down right now, I would be doing that right now and just be gone from the park. But, um, crap, dude. Okay, wait. Oh my goodness, thank God for diamond armor. Okay, 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 okay. Not having a shield is probably the worst decision. Well, you can ever make in Minecraft. Not the worst decision. Going out with a goth girl would probably be much worse. Um, just experience. Okay. Um, okay, sir. Just, sir. Sir. Cool, we're good. Okay, let's head back to the surface. But yes, um, so yeah, now it is time for me and Nick to finish the last couple, right? So Kyle's like, she's done. We let her back in the Starbucks. I think Ryan and Heidi have been sitting in the Starbucks for the last three hours now at this point. Is it a thunderstorm? If I can find another skeleton horse, I literally, oh my goodness. Okay, so we dropped Kyle off back at the Starbucks. And the Starbucks is like a 30 second, not even 30 second walk to the big roller coaster right it's not like we're going like back and forth like no the, the starbucks is like right next to the roller coaster okay so we drop kyle back off we ride the roller coaster or we try to ride the roller coaster um we we you know basically sprint up the you know the the wooden stairs right to the, the roller coaster there's like two people on the roller coaster we're like dude we get to sit in the very back this is good right so there's four people in the roller coaster including us and the guys are just giving it like 30 seconds and we're like, okay, you know, it's fine Maybe I have to cool the roller coaster down But you know me and Nick are ready to go and the people in the front are too, right? Well, we hear this screaming coming from you know the the, the line But like there's no line because there's nobody there um, We're like what the heck and we just see this family of 15 people I'm like, okay, you know, it's fine. There's you know, so many spots and everything uh, the 15 people just stand there looking at the ride and there's like three people trying to get into one spot again these are all the same people like they're all the same family so it's not like they're fighting it's just like they're all trying to get into the same cart when they obviously can't fit because there's only two seats so they're doing that bouncing around people are getting on and off because they're scared um the guys are like yelling and screaming and recording and laughing and everything like that and it's like i understand you're having a good time like i fully understand that but it's like i've been sitting inside this roller coaster for the last five minutes and I'm literally not exaggerating. I'm ready to, you know, move. Like, I'm, I'm trying to breed a record here, guys. You know, this is important business, okay? Um, so, like, after another three minutes, uh, I can see the workers, you know, the guys, you know, running the roller coaster being agitated. So, they close the gates. And one of the dummies is standing in between the gate and gets smashed by the gate. And complains to the guy that he got smashed by the gate when he's standing in the way, Right? And the guy is like, the guy looks at him like, what are you doing? And the, the roller coaster guy is like, what are you doing? Okay. Um, and the guy's still recording and yelling and screaming and just being an absolute ruckus and everything. Right. So, you know, 10 seconds go by. The guy tries to close the gate again. And the guy's still in the way and gets smashed again and still complaining. Man, why are you closing the gate on me? And it's like, no, no crap. He's trying to close the gate. He, he, he the, the rides, you know, we're ready to go. Right. So the guy's just walking around, like just not understanding that they're trying to start the ride and everything. I was incredibly past at this point. I was like, dude, Nick is like, I apologize for my people, bro. This is not usually how we are. And I was like, bro, you're fine. It's just, this is ridiculous. You know, um, <laughs> this is ridiculous. Right. Um, so I could see them getting fed up and I had a cool face on and I called it a poker face where I know that I have Kings. And I don't want anybody else to know, but at the same time, I don't care at this point because I know I'm going to win the pot and nobody else has money. So I was getting so incredibly infuriated at this point. That was a horrible analogy. I'm sorry, but um, I was getting so mad 
and like the 15 people are finally sat down on the ride uh, the guy starts the ride and the, everybody screams and everything like that we finished the ride after 45 seconds they all get off i don't see that family ever again right we were in the park for five hours before that never saw this family once right they hop on the ride annoy the crap out of me sorry they annoy the crap out of me and my friends okay we see them for you know the 15 20 minutes that they're fighting around we see them on the ride they get off we they literally never saw them again it's like they appeared for the ride to annoy us and then just dipped and it was like what what just what just happened here right so um that was the fifth time me and nick rode the ride right so we head back into the starbucks and everybody's like, yo, did you ride it like five more times? We're like, no, we rode it once. There was this crazy, like, stupid family. Sorry. This crazy family in front of us that just was so incredibly loud, right? So they're like, all right, well, we still need to ride it one more time. And at this point, I'm I'm getting cooked again. Nick's like, bro, I could go up three more times. I'm like, Nick, you're crazy, right? So we convinced Kyle to come back on with us. So she hops on the ride with us and everything. I mean, it was super fast and everything. Um, we actually also, I do want to say we did learn that riding because again, we were like the only people in the park, right? So we were able to ride in the very front of the carts and the very back of the carts. And we absolutely figured out that the back is so much better. Like it's faster. It's more scary. I mean, it's everything. If you literally are scared to go on a roller coaster ride, just go in the very front because it's genuinely not that bad. Right. Um, but regardless, so this is our fifth time we get Kyle to jump on with us. Um, we do our sixth one. It was the best thing in the world. I mean, it just got better and better every single time. Got way better than the crazy family. Um, so I was really excited. I was like, dude, that is the best ride again. Like, that's so amazing. Um, it's not even dark at this time, but everybody's kind of getting ready to go. So we all um, decide that we're going to go on one more ride. We're going to go on the boats again, everybody. So we go on the boats and everything, uh, which is really fun. But, um, like, I, I just did, you know, the big roller coaster for the sixth time, right? So we do the boats. And after the boats, we all sit down in the shade because it's hot as hell. And I, everybody looks at me and they're like, Zach's cooked, right? I'm looking down. I feel like I'm going to throw up, but I'm not going to throw up. I feel like my head, I feel like I just got punched in the face seven times with Mike Tyson. Like my head is throbbing. It is ridiculous, right? Whatever. I'm trying to thug it out, but I can see that all my friends are laughing at me because I just was laughing at them for the same thing. So it's fine. I deserve it. Um, but it was it was a bad situation, right? It was a bad situation and they're like Zach, you want to do it again? And I look at them in the eyes and I'm like, I will do it again But I know you won't and like bet so we hop on it again and I'm like son of a bitch dude This is so bad. So we hop on it again and it's horrible and everything But it's fine. I thug it out and it's like guys it's time to go and Nick's like you want to go on the big one again? I'm like no, let's just let's just get on let's get on out of here, right? So we head back to the house we hop back on the ferry and everything see some more um See some more dolphins. At this point, it's like fully dark, right? This is the first time we've been on the ferry really late at night, right? So we're seeing the dolphins, but like barely. Um, we can't see the water below us because it's so dark already. The water's trash, disgusting, and you know, yeah. But it was really nice. It was really amazing. I really enjoyed my time with my friends uh, down in Galveston. Everything it was super, super fun. Uh, we got a bunch of diamonds, a bunch of stuff, and um, that's pretty much it, my friends. Um, kind of just talked a lot. Hopefully, you did enjoy this video. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. I just want to say thank you to Nick, Kyle, Ryan, and Heidi to being my friends. I really love y'all and appreciate y'all. And hopefully in the next video, um, I could talk about something else. So yeah, see you guys next time. Take care of this. Peace.